have two babies that are up and at them this morning. I always ask this one because she is wide open. Even if it's like 28 out here, she's still going strong. I just ate some breakfast, y'all, and made myself a peppermint mocha latte with my new frothing machine. It was so cool. It's the first time I've used it to make hot coffee. I'm just quickly going to put up breakfast and... We have some bacon leftovers, so I'm putting them in this bag to throw in the refrigerator. We have some errands to do today. Some silly little horse girl errands. But I want Ladybug to be eating her hay too, so I'm going to go down there and give her that. I have quite a busy day today and day tomorrow. I'll see if I decide vlogging tomorrow though, because I'm graduating college tomorrow. Like physically walking we're gonna go eat a nice supper afterwards and i'm really excited to be done with it took my last final yesterday morning though and i just could not be more excited after that thing was over most of these girls are done eating now i can pretty much guarantee you that lee is not she's my slow eater and there she is still munching let's do some hay this is the girl that needs to be eaten though because we got somewhere to be It's pretty chilly out here, but it's not so bad that I can't function. Yesterday was ridiculous. I was going to take my final, and my school's like 40 minutes away, so I mean, there's variation a little bit in the temperatures, but not that much. And I was literally freezing. I thought I would be okay in just like a sweatshirt, and I was not. I needed this jacket so bad. Time to get the move on today, but first, I'm going to read my Bible, see what the Lord has for me today, and then I'm going to start getting ready to get the move on. I've got to start hurrying. It's 8.30 and I'm supposed to leave at 8.40. I don't know about y'all, but I have such dry skin right now. But it's really hard to manage because my dry skin is like right here. But I break out. The one place I normally break out on my face is right here. So it's really, really hard to manage what's going on there. Okay. Let's change my clothes really quick. For today, the high is 55, which is pretty decent, but it's not too warm to amount to too much. I doubt I'll take any of this stuff off, but I'm wearing my seven jeans. This is an Ariat sweatshirt. Every time I wear this on TikTok, everybody wants to know where it's from. And I got it at a Western boutique at the beach. So I'm not sure if you can get it. I also got it a very long time ago. Actually, let's clip the hair just to make things easier for me today. If y'all can hear it in my voice, but I can definitely feel it and I can hear it in my voice, but um, kind of sounds like I'm like stuffy, fighting a cold almost. So I'm going to be drinking a lot of water today or trying to. So I'm gonna fill this sucker up so we can hit the road. The other day I was gonna make a TikTok and I probably still am, but I just haven't got to it yet of how much water I drink in a day because I usually do drink a ridiculous amount. And I think I drank like three of these Stanleys, which this is a 40 ounce Stanley, it's the bigger one. And I drank like three bottles of water, like the uh, 16 ounce bottles of water. And at the end of the day, I like calculated it and I drank like over a gallon of water. But I couldn't tell if I was like subconsciously drinking more because I knew I was making a video about it or if I really would have drank that much. But I did do a lot that day, so who knows? I just thought it was really interesting. I've got my wallet for my license check, my water. I think I'm good to go. I got Miss Bug and we're heading to the trailer, having to walk up the shop slash barn driveway. I really wanna get my nails done today for graduation tomorrow, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time. I'll just have to wing it and see what's happening. I cleaned out my trailer yesterday so it's perfect for her today somebody's not in the mood to load today hey sweet girl you have to have that poop as soon as you get on the trailer like everybody else the doors are locked i like to be an ocd nutcase on things like that i just realized i haven't even told y'all where we're going yet 
We're going to the vet. We're supposed to be there at 10. It takes like an hour and 10 minutes to get there, honestly. It's 8.47 right now. I have Cooper with me. I wasn't going to take him, but he was so excited. I'm going to let him come. It's 8.48. Hopefully, I'll make it there on time. Be there a little bit before 10, maybe. We'll see. To. Cooper's been such a fun little hauling travel buddy. I'm glad he came. He's having a great time. He seems like he's really, really enjoying it. <laughs> and I should have brought sunglasses because I cannot see it. crap. He's the cutest thing ever. Got Ladybug out of the trailer. Got her busy with a hay bag. Ladybug's pregnancy is looking great. She said that the thickness of the uterus uterine line and the placenta were exactly what they were supposed to be so that is perfect so that means the baby's producing enough progesterone if i understood what she was saying correctly but that only took literally 15 minutes it's 10 18 now and we're gonna head home cooper was such a good boy he got all the attention per usual i've made it home here she is. I'm so glad everything checked out is good. Thankfully too, I didn't waste much of my day, honestly. It's only 11.30 right now, and before now, it was too cold to do anything anyway. So it's still a little chilly, but it's supposed to be a high of 55. So that's pretty good, decent riding weather. Just got her back into her stall. She's munching on some hay. I'm gonna put my stuff in the house, like my wallet and everything from the truck and then I'm gonna fix myself a sandwich. I had a pancake this morning for breakfast and it is not doing it for me. So I can get to riding them. And I don't really know who I'm gonna ride, but tonight, like this afternoon, when my dad gets off work, we're gonna ride, a, he's gonna ride Blaze. And I'm thinking I might wanna ride Lee now. So I'm gonna ride Honey later with him. But I'm trying to decide about Queen if I wanna ride her or not. I wasn't kidding about my drinking. I already drank the 40 ounce Stanley and it's only 12 o'clock. Just to make things simpler for me, I'm just gonna make myself a sandwich, turkey sandwich. That was exactly what I needed for a light lunch so that I can go ride and not be too full, but not be hungry either. I know I'm gonna ride, I know I'm gonna ride Lee, but I'm just unsure if I'm gonna ride Queen or not. So I'm just gonna get my stuff for Lee. I really need to clean this thing out. I can barely get in here to get my saddle. Let me know in the comments if y'all know the struggle of not having a barn. I know I have a barn to keep my horses in, but I can't keep my tack in there because it's also my dad's barn and it's not made for like, there's not a place that mice or anything won't get into. So I have to keep everything in my trailer. That's why it's so crowded in there. And if there's one thing Lee is obsessed with, it's the camera, so. I like to ride her in the afternoon with my dad when he's riding Blaze, but I haven't really had that much time this week to have some one-on-one -on -one with her. And also, I feel like whenever I ride with him, I can't do what I normally, as much as I normally would do, just because it's already 4.30, it gets dark at like five, so I barely have any time to do anything. So this is exciting for me to finally get to ride her this week by myself and just have a good time with her.
just changed to my boots. Also took off that jacket and my hair has to go in a bun. If it's in a clip when I'm riding, it does not keep my hair up. We're gonna head to my grandma's arena and when we get over there, I'm gonna set y'all up so y'all can see me riding. I've been slacking on that because I haven't had a good tripod, but I bought one that's like small enough to fit my pocket so I can video that for y'all now. I kid y'all not, as soon as I started walking over here, her ears go forward, she starts to act like she's scared of everything and the wind has picked up so much. On trail ride back to my house because she was not the best today I don't know if y'all could even tell from the videos because the tripod did crash at one point y'all I think I need a new tripod because this one's clearly not cutting it a pro tip y'all when you have your horse and she's kind of sweating he she your horse is sweating but it's winter time and it's kind of chilly outside and you don't want to go hose them off. Today is pretty much borderline about hosing off. I probably could, but she's really not sweating bad enough. Just take a brush. I usually like for them to be a little bit harder than this one, but brush her hair the right way and it'll help get that sweat off. I'm gonna throw a little bit of hay into their pasture and then let these girls out. Girls are heading out. Come on, Lily. She is the laziest one about getting out of her stall. And Queen loves to come back in here and argue with me about going out. This is like an everyday occurrence. I've decided to go ahead and get my nails done. I was going to ride Queen, but I'm choosing to wait on that because I rode her really good yesterday. I actually might wait until tomorrow morning and ride her. But who knows, whatever time this gets done, I'll just have to decide from there. The nails are done. That took way longer than expected, but I mean, there's a lot going on here. I hope y'all can see those good. Here is a better picture of them. My thumb looks like my ring finger. Super cute, super classy. So I'm going to put them up, but I'm gonna just give them a little bit of sweet feed in each of their buckets to trick them because it is too early to eat right now. It's four. And this is just so I don't have to catch Blaze because she's really hard to catch. Y'all, let's. Get everything on this golf cart. 
and haul it down to my barn. It's getting colder. Honestly, though, my hands are the only thing that's so cold. Everything is loaded up. I hope y'all can hear me because my dad's worker is blowing off the driveway and it's pretty loud. It's 420, so I need to get the move on with these girls. We normally ride at 430, so I need to do that. I've got Honey here and Blaze back there. Just got done riding Honey. My dad rode Blaze. They were both not the best. I think it's the cold weather that's getting to everybody. Everyone is tucked in for the night, fed with hay, water, everything. And Joe are tearing up some Mexican food right now. I'm so hungry. It's the next day and I'm graduating tonight. Yay, sort of yay. <laughs> I guess I'm more excited honestly about going to eat after I graduate than my actual graduation. Come here, my bell. She comes out with me every single morning, no matter what. And she's literally a fur ball. I know y'all can probably tell she's long haired. It doesn't matter if it's 25 out here. Seriously, she loves it regardless. And she loves my new nails, too. That's why she's chilling so hard. She's so cute. She's wide open, and I'm sure that helps her, too, with the creating warmth for herself. Cooper ain't even out here yet, and he's my man. See, she's found herself a wasp nest. Wasp nest? Oh, my gosh. And she gone. I'm on my way to Tractor Supply and Starbucks to get breakfast. It's 28 right now. A little bit chilly. I was just at Tractor Supply, but Honey's already out of feed. And also, last time I went to Tractor Supply, they didn't have Honey's correct feed, so I had to get something similar, which can be a big deal. So I, I'm hoping that they actually do have the right feed today. So I got a Venti Ice Sugar Cookie Almond Milk Latte, but I did it with oat milk. I kind of wanted a cold brew this morning, but I don't know how much longer they're gonna have these um, Christmas drinks because it's already December 15th or something crazy like that. So not too much longer. I also got my usual fattening sandwich, bacon sandwich warmed. So I'm gonna enjoy this, drink my coffee before I head into Tractor Supply to get honey stuff. Look who is finally up. No, it seriously takes me such a long time to get going in the mornings. It's 10 a.m. right now. I think it's because of the cold weather, really seriously. In the summertime, I am out and about at 7 a.m. But like, the cold is really kicking my butt this year. That being said though, if y'all are looking for a Christmas present for anybody in your life, I think heated jackets are seriously the way to go. They actually sent me this jacket, so I can't really like say that I found this on my own or that I did any research for or anything like that. But I'll be honest, I grabbed this jacket every single time I go outside. I'm not even kidding. This thing is so nice. It heats up in like three different locations, but it's heated. But the nice part about it is like right now, I don't have the battery in here. I'm just wearing it as a jacket and it's made to like withstand it's made to like hold your heat in so it's helpful anyway super nice and what i really really like about it which is kind of funny considering the heated jacket is the coolest part this pocket right here it's really big it goes down to the other pocket like the actual hand pocket that all jackets have i have gloves in here i put my clips in here for my hair and i also like putting my phone in there when things are going around and stuff when things are going on while I'm riding and stuff, sometimes I can't hear my phone. Like if I have a podcast playing or music and I love this little pocket right here because I can put my phone on full blast and still hear it. 
But let's go ride. I think today I'm going to ride Queen. And I don't know if I'm gonna ride anybody else or whatever, but I definitely wanna ride her first. Also today is graduation day. I'm excited. So we're leaving here, my house at three, to go to Athens so we can get ready so I can graduate. But I have to be there at 4.15, but everybody's gonna come with me anyway because if the thing starts at five and they wanna get good seats and blah, blah, blah. So I have to start getting ready around 1, 1.30. Gotta get my water, my Starbies, and head to the trailer. I think I got everything. All of it's right here. I think that's everything I need. In the sun, it honestly feels pretty dang good, but in the shade, it's chilly. It is Friday. It rained on Saturday and Sunday pretty good, but my round pin is still pretty dang sloppy. But what I've been doing with her is just make, letting her avoid this area if she wants to, not jog through it, not lope through it, because I do lunge her for a little bit before I actually get on. Let's give all the girls some hay. I'm kind of going to keep my eyes on Blaze, the one on the end. Because when I dumped her hay in there, she wasn't like that ecstatic to eat it. That is one sign to me that something might be going on. So I went up to her, pet, felt under her stomach just to see if she would pin her ears, give me any sort of reaction. She seemed fine. It was almost like she was standing in the sunshine. So maybe she was just enjoying that. Let me show y'all how her stall is so y'all can get what I'm saying. Her, like the sun is coming in right there and she was just standing in the corner chilling. So... I think she's fine. I'm just gonna keep an eye on her. Also, if you're thinking that your horse's stomach might be the problem, colicking, whatever it might be, check and see if they have poop in their um, stall because if they do, that's a good sign. That means there is movement there. Grabbing Queen's halter. I had a comment on my TikTok asking me to let y'all see all of my halters, but as y'all all can see, they're all meal tape halters. That is all I use. That's all I like. I have some over here that are not, but they literally have cobwebs on them. Like, I'm not using them. I really think she was just enjoying the sunshine. Also, ignore her imprint. I know. I know. Should have hosed her off last night, but it was getting to be cold whenever we were done riding. Just got the queen out of her stall. I'm going to walk her up and down the shop driveway just for a little bit. Stretch out her legs since she has been in her stall all night i'm actually gonna walk her up to the trailer which is right here and we're gonna work on loading for a little bit this girl is actually a champ at loading so it should be pretty easy i'm hoping she's looking at everything right now though we we're just walking around it a few times getting her used to it then my ears are still forged checking out everything she usually doesn't come up to the front of the house where the trailer is right now the car just went by and she didn't even care so that's great Dude. Queen didn't even hesitate and loaded it like a flipping boss. Now it's time to get to work. I'm gonna jog her, lunch her for probably 15, 20 minutes, just where I feel like her jitters are gone and she's good to get on. Don't lunge all my horses, as y'all know, but she is a lot younger. She's three, and honestly, mentally, she's more like a two year old. Jog. So I do what's safe for us both. She's pretty spicy at the moment. That's because the dogs are barking, running down from my house, being kind of wild. And this is exactly why I lunch her first. I've got her saddled up, helmet is on, I'm ready to ride. <laughs> She's being pretty spicy. 
I swear it feels like you're ahead on these girls and then the next minute feels like you're taking five steps backwards. But that is the way the horse breaking and training game goes. I'm now gonna take her out into this pasture right beside me and ride her for a little bit. I would get this on video. The only problem is who knows what she's gonna do and I would like to have my phone on me just in case something is to happen. I can video in the round pen just because I think she's pretty good in here. But out there, it's a d another story. As y'all can see, I actually lost her because I got onto her and she panicked and took off running. So we're going back to where we came from. Exactly why I like to have my phone on me. She was definitely as sassy as I think she's ever been with me on her. However, I think I won that battle. So that is so good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw over some hay and let out all of these girls. I just checked Blaze, she looks fine. She's actually pooped, so that's really good. But I want all of them to have as much time as I possibly can outside. Since we're leaving at three and not gonna be back till really, really late, I'm gonna go ahead and put them up earlier than they normally would, so I want them to have that time to run around and be outside. They're out of their stalls, my hair's looking a mess. That's fine. For graduation, I might be looking a little rusty, dusty, but I definitely need to scoop their stalls today because I didn't get them scooped yesterday and I need to fill up their waters. When I vlog though, y'all, my phone dies. Like I'm sitting at 15% right now. I'm about to go get a portable charger so I can come down here and scoop out the stalls. The sacrifices I make for y'all. No, I'm just kidding. It's so much fun to vlog. I just need to like invest in a vlogging camera. Let's get to scooping out all these stalls. I've cleaned all the stalls, scooped them all out, and now I just dumped out all the water buckets and putting them back up. I need to fill them up with fresh water. It's now one. I'm thinking about going inside and maybe starting getting ready. I don't really have enough time to like actually do anything. Probably eat a little something and get ready, I guess. Like I would love to go ride jazz, but it's gonna be two by then and I need to like put up the girls at two. So yeah, exciting. I just had lunch. I'm eating some cheese it's now and drinking my water. Let's get ready to graduate. Y'all, I am basically ready. I did my makeup and I crimped my hair and I'm kind of thinking it was the wrong decision. But I mean, it's fun, it's different. We're just gonna go with it. I'm giving them their food early. Later though, I'm gonna come back down here when we get home, give them hay and put on blankets then because right now it's like 57, it feels great out here. I'm now fully ready. Here is the fit. This is just a sweater dress, puffy sleeves. I was gonna wear a different one, but some of my graduation pictures were in the other one, so I, I wanted to wear something different with red shoes. These are cute. I'm just kind of sliding around on them, so I'm hoping it's fine. Hopefully it will be good. I realized I totally didn't finish this vlog. Thank y'all so much for watching. I did graduate last night. It was a lot of fun. We went to a really nice restaurant right after. I had my whole family with me though, so I really didn't want to pull out my phone and vlog anything. But thank y'all so much for supporting me and check out my past few YouTube videos. See y'all next week.